So this lesson is going over multiple reflections. And it asks the question, does the order of the reflections matter? In other words, if we have two reflections A and B, if we do A first and B first, we'll come up with a transformed shape. If we do B first and A first, we'll come up with a transformed shape. Are those two transformed shapes the same or are they different? And if they're the same, then obviously the order in which we do them doesn't matter. And if they're different, then the order does. And we're going to look at two particular types of multiple reflections. The first is when we have parallel lines of reflection. And the second is when we have perpendicular lines of reflection. So let's look at the first one, which is parallel lines of reflection to start. So the first thing we're going to do is take this triangle. And on this side, we're going to do the x-axis first. And then the reflect across the line y equals 1. Those are two parallel lines, so we'll look at that. Ever in this example, we'll first do x equals 1, and then we'll reflect it across the y-axis, and we'll see if there's any difference. So reflecting across the y-axis, I have to find out how far to the y-axis, continue to go that distance, mark my point. How far to the y-axis, 3, go 3 more, mark my point. x is 0 to the y-axis, so 0 more, so it stays right there draw my new triangle, can get rid of all that extra stuff. And now I want to reflect it across x equals 1. So there's x equals 1. Again, draw how many to my line of reflection 2. So go 2 more, mark my new point. How far 4 to my new line of reflection? Go 4 more, there's my point. 1 more, 1 more, there's my point. Draw my triangle, and I can get rid of all the intermediate steps. So my original triangle with my doubly transformed, doubly reflected triangle looks like that. Now we're going to do them in opposite order. For first, we're going to reflect across the x-axis. So E is 0 because it's right on it, so I go 0 more, so to stay right on there. N is 2 away, so continue to the left and there's my new n, and x is 1 to the right, so continue 1 right, and there's my new x, and I can draw my new triangle. There it is. Get rid of all that extra stuff, and from this new triangle, I'm going to reflect over the y-axis, so e is 1 to the left, continue 1 to the left, that's e double prime. n is 1 to the right, so I continue 1 to the right, that's n double prime. And then x is 2 to the left, 2 to the left more is x double prime. can draw that triangle, and then I can get rid of all the intermediate steps, so I can just compare these two. And when I look at these triangles, I see that the first triangle we created is to the right of the second triangle that I created. It is 4 units to the right. And so the answer is that they're not the same, so parallel lines of reflection, the order, it does make a difference. Now that we've done parallel lines of reflection, let's look at perpendicular lines of reflection and we'll see if the order in which we do the transactions, or excuse me, the reflections makes a difference. So once again we'll start by going off over our y-axis, so 1 to it, 1 more, 3 to it, 3 more, 0 to it, 0 more, draw my triangle, get rid of that stuff. Now, however, we're reflecting across a perpendicular axis, in this case, the x-axis. So, 5 down, 5 more, draw that point. 1 down, 1 more, draw that point. Right on that line, so no more down, draw that point. Put in my new triangle, get rid of all the intermediate steps. And there is my triangle that has been reflected twice. Now let's do it the other way around. First, go over my x-axis, so 5 down, 5 more, 1 down, 1 more, 0 down, 0 more, draw that triangle, get rid of the intermediate steps, there it is. Now we're going to do it across the y-axis, so 1 over, 1 more, 3 over, 3 more, 0 over, so 0 more over, same point, draw that triangle, get rid of all the intermediate steps, and there it is. And we can see that indeed that triangle, these two triangles are the same. Whether I reflect over my vertical axis, then my horizontal, or reflect over my horizontal line, then a vertical, it doesn't matter. I end up in the same place. So does the order matter for this one? And the answer is no, it does not.